Good morning. I am uh, Vincent Babi, chairman of the board of IPTC, and it is my pleasure to welcome you today in Amsterdam for the 2013 IPTC Rights Day. The theme today is uh, machine readable rights in the news industry, opportunities, standards, and challenges. It is not very often at IPTC that we organize a full day conference about a single topic. But at this time, there are few other subjects as hot as this one for many of our members' company. We all want our content to reach the widest audience possible, but we also want the rights of content creators to be acknowledged, protected, and as much as possible monetized. Communic communicating rights is the next big to-do for many of us because of the new norms in the publishing industry widespread aggregation, social media sharing, business models which mix license fees, revenue sharing, affiliation, traffic referrals, and last but not least, fewer editors, fewer gatekeepers, if you will, in newsrooms. In such a world, it, be it becomes imper imperative to express, to, to attach the rights directly to content before it starts on its unpredictable journey and to do this at scale, which is to say in an automated fashion. In addition, we are all aware of the disputes between various aggregators and content providers, of the plans to reform copyright law in a radical way in many countries, and of the constant tension between event organizers and news organizations. In fact, these issues are so much in the news that some of the organizations we would have loved to have with us today have preferred to stay away from a public forum for now. But we are very lucky and grateful that many more have seized the opportunity and accepted our invitation to discuss these issues and share their insights. Together, they represent an exceptionally broad range of experiences and expertise, and I want to thank all the presenters for coming along and helping us make this day a success. Because we've had such a great response, we have a very packed agenda, and timekeeping will be a major challenge. I therefore invite presenters and panelists to stick to the time slots which have been communicated. Please keep the about us section of your presentation as short as possible and go straight to the insights that you want to share with the audience so that we have time for Q&A after each of our four sessions. Lunch will be served just Across the corridor, around, around 1 p.m., there will be breaks for coffee, for networking. And if you have time to, tonight after the event, we are, you are welcome to meet informally with us for drinks. This conference is by invitation only, but the intent is to share the insights that we, we will gain with our colleagues in our respective companies and more widely via the, via the IPTC website, YouTube, and social media. So be aware that what you say might be reported outside of this room. On the other hand, our goal is to learn as much as possible from each other. So if you would like to say something but don't, don't want it to report it, want to say something off the record, this gathering is still small and collegial enough that you, know, you could tell us, ask for our discretion, and I'm sure the participants will treat these observations in confidence, and we, we can also edit the videos accordingly. The event is the result of a long and intense preparation, and I want to thank the, the people who have taken the lead in organizing it. There are Stuart Miles of the AP, the chair of the IPTC's Rights Expression Languages Working Party, Michael Steidel, the managing director of IPTC, Chris Eisenberg of Getty Images, and my Thomson Reuters colleagues, Dave Compton and Roger Bacon. And now, after thanking you again for for c coming today, I would like to invite Andreas Gephardt and the first panel to take place for the first session, the need for machine-readable rights. <laughs> 